Okay. So this right here is page S21. Okay. So S21. We're going to try to do uh, pretty much all of these questions. Okay. Hopefully that focuses it a little bit better for you guys. All right. So we're on tape diagrams here. So it says the ratio of the number of people who own smartphones the people who own flip phones is four to three. Now the order matters here. So the first kind of phone we saw, we wrote about was smartphones. So I'm gonna put smart and I'm gonna put flip. And it says it's in ratio of four to three. So that means smartphone's gonna get four boxes and flip's gonna get three. So you notice how my flip three is like the same, roughly the same size as the smart three of them. That's what it is. And it says if, 500 more, that's important, 500 more. The question here is, who's got more boxes? Who has more? When the word more is shown, we're looking for who has more. So right now, smart has more. How many more? They have one more. So it's 500 more on a smartphone. So there's only one box, so we have to put the 500 in the one box. Now, if it was two boxes left over, we'd have to split that 500 into 250 each. Now, the thing about um, a tape diagram is when you put 500 in one box, you got to put 500 in every box. Okay, so we're putting 500. The number I'm putting in these boxes is 500. It's really hard with these markers, but you get the idea that there's 500 in each of those boxes. So it says... Um, how many people own each type of phone? Well, 500, 500, 500. So that's 1,500 own flip phones and 1,000, 2,000 own a smartphone, okay? So that's the first tape diagram. Now remember, if I went too fast, you just rewatch it, rewind it, all that kind of stuff. So now we're gonna look at a different style. So the people we were dealing with is Sammy and David. So we have Sammy, put Sam, and David. They were selling water bottles to raise money for a new football uniforms. Sammy sold five water bottles for every three David sold. So that means Sammy sold five. When Dave would sell three. It says together. Together. That means together. So when it's a together, they sold 160. How many together boxes do they have? Okay, like how many boxes together? So they have, Sammy's got five, he's got three. They have a total of eight boxes. See how that is? They have a total of eight. So if they have eight boxes, we now have to divide the 160 total together with the together number to find out what's going in each box. Eight goes into 16 twice. Eight goes into zero, zero times. That means I'm putting a 20 in every box together. So when we can check this after, because together they have to total 160. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60. Yes. So it said, how many did each boy sell? Well, Sammy totals 100. So Sam was 100 and David was 60. I'm going to move this eight up a little bit. Together, they had eight boxes. Okay. All right. We're going to go down to the next one. Miss Johnson and Miss Sipple were folding report cards to send home to parents. The ratio of the number of report cards Miss Johnson folded to the number of report cards Miss Sipple folded was two to three. So we're going to put Miss J and Miss S. So it says the ratio of the number of Miss Johnson to Sipple was two to three. So Johnson was listed first and she gets two boxes and Sipple gets three boxes. 
says at the end of the day, Miss Johnson and Miss Sipple folded total. That's another word for together, just like that one above. Together, they folded 300. So how many boxes do they have together? One, two, three, four, five. That's five. So we have to divide these two numbers. So we take 300 and we divide it by five to find out what number goes in each box. Together, we add the boxes and divide into it. For the other ones, we have to find out who's got more boxes and by how many. So five goes into 36 times to make 30. Bring down our zero, 60. 60 is going in each box. So then it asks, how many did each person fold? So Miss J folded 120, because that's 60 plus 60. And Miss S folded 6 times 3 is 18 out of 0, 180. Together, that's 300. Last one of an example. At a country concert. The number of boys to the number of girls. Boys are first, girls are second. Boys, girls. Boys got two boxes. Girls get seven boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If there are 250 more girls, more. Who's got more boxes? Remember that. Who has more boxes. The girls, how many more boxes? There's a matching, that's a matching. So all of those girl boxes, five of them, is the more number, more. So what's our more number? 250 is our more. We gotta put 250 into those boxes. So how many boxes are we dividing that up into? Five. So we have to take 250 and split it amongst five boxes. That means we're putting 50 in each box. So 50, 100, 150, 200, 250. Every box gets 50. Now the question asks, how many boys are at the concert? How many boys? That's only a hundred. Now remember, more. When they see the word more, we have to see who's got more, boys or girls. The girls have more. Whatever you circle for the more is your more number. It doesn't mean 250 goes in each box. That's only if they were owned over by one. But since we have five more boxes, we have to split 250 into five different people. So five different things. So we have 50, 100, 152, 250. So that's where that comes in. We put 50 in everything. And as always, this is Miss Bobby, and I love math. Day coke.